Alright guys, before the video starts, I just want to say that I do have some merch available and all of that good crap. The link is in the description. We got some cool stuff. We got a lot of stuff actually. And you don't have to buy anything, but you know, some of it's pretty cool. So yeah, on with the video. Link in the description. It's now open, boys. Alright, welcome back, guys, to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at some funny stories on Reddit. Because I have no more video ideas. I'm unoriginal. I'm copying Laserbeam. Probably other YouTubers, too, but he's the one I watch do this. So today, I'm looking at office workers of Reddit. What's your best office story? So I looked up, like, funny work stories or whatever. And this popped up, as you can see, there's all of these situations. So I'm going to read the, I'm going to read the funniest ones, probably. So I'm going to read the first one to know what we're expecting. Okay. So came into work. I was their early manager. And before I got get to my desk, my phone is ringing. Answer it, and it's a ploy. All he says is, I have to go. I'm bleeding from my butt. Stunned, I say. Yeah, you should leave. I walk to his cube and find a blood-soaked chair with bloody napkins all over it. I ask if he wants to call 911 or something. He says, no, I'm driving myself. Call maintenance and I have to explain to them an upper upper management how all this blood appeared. Guy ended up okay and came back to work a couple days later. Never asked what the hell the issue was. I did the old screenshot to desktop. Hide desktop icons to save the screenshot. Screenshot as a new desktop background to three different computers, two of which were shared between five to ten people. Now the problem is, I called in sick with food food poisoning the next day. Utter chaos broke out. No one could open any programs. IT had to get involved. It apparently took them a few hours to figure out what happened. No one ever, but no one ever knew it was me, and I planned on you know taking the credit and winning that stage of the prank war. But no, I played dumb and bit my tongue. Okay, this this one's a long one, dude. I have one. We have an agent. Let's call him Joe. Joe is about 60 and a perfect employee. Never misses work. Perfect stats. Honest. Customers love him and always give him phase. Phase. Volunteers for overtime and absolutely everyone loves him. I use his calls for examples in my training class. He has been offered numerous management positions, but he is perfectly content sitting at home fixing customers customers problems making them happy and making a company money is absolute machine two years ago his wife and his 40th wedding anniversary was coming up and i had a business trip to ohio for a new system training joe was told he had to come with me to learn he pleaded he couldn't because he would miss his wedding anniversary Plus, it was odd because the agents never go on trips. And my manager said uh, sternly, Do it, Joe. You don't have a choice. Joe, of course, went home and packed and got ready to leave a few days later. His wife said he was going to stay with, stay, going to stay with her sisters while he was gone and left the night before. A company car picked me up for an airport and we were heading to Joe's. He's pretty upset and depressed but tried to be upbeat. We went to dinner and stalled for a few hours for good reason. When we got to the airport, we boarded out plane and headed to Houston for a switch. We got to Houston and we walked up t to the Miami gate and I said, there's your plane. He looked at me and I pointed over to his wife standing at the gate. My boss had arranged to send them to Miami for a week, then and then a cruise to Jamaica for the anniversary of my boss's credit card for the expenses. The first thing out of his mouth was, oh my god, I didn't pack for that. But of course, we had his wife take care of that when, when we sent her out on an earlier flight. He started crying at, right there at the airport and hugged me. I handed him the credit card, went over, and gave his wife a hug and told her she owed me some apple cookies and... Head to plane, head to my plane for Ohio. Went to Ohio and yeah. Oh crap, dude! Oh crap! Oh wait, it is is it even f funny story? I just realized that. I just realized it isn't funny stories. Uh, maybe that one was that why that one was so funny. 
Dude, both of them were cool though. The first one. There wasn't like you get you get my point. That one's actually pretty That one's actually really nice, dude. That 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 that's a good boss, dude. That's a good boss. Ten minutes into the company meeting, someone's phone went off playing bagpipe music. But as it got louder, we realized it was the actual set of bagpipes playing out loud. Before we knew it, the guy marches into the conference room, blasting away that one Scottish song. Don't know what it's called, but you know the one I mean. After he finished playing the speaker who had fin who had been playing dumb until now, and now said we had acquired a small company in S Scotland. Best announcement ever. Cause I don't know if y'all like this or anything, but you know. I swear to God, this is true. I worked in a staffing company as a recruiter. One of the sale guys always bragged ab about his martial art skills. One afternoon, one of the female recruiters called bullcrap on him. They were right outside my cubicle. He said something to the effect, don't believe me. Oh, okay, I will kick my foot over your head right now. Start here, just like this. He positions her and gets it in a karate squat. Don't know how else to describe it. Goes for it without stretching, practice or anything. He rotates and kicks his foot way up, just high enough to make solid contact with the right temple with a solid thud. She stags up at days and he runs and hides in his cube. I couldn't believe why I just saw it happen so quick. It was insane. And I think I'm going to read this one since that one's kind of short. This, this was at my last job, a call center on National Donut Day at Krispy Kreme. Girl A had gotten a box of donuts and was on a call with a customer. With a customer. Girl B comes up and takes one out of the box. Girl A mutes her phones and says, Boy, you better be joking. Don't touch my donuts. Girl B turns around and walks away with the donut. Girl A hangs up on her customer and full on assaults Girl B. An epic, girl, a epic brawl breaks out right in front of the middle of the call floor and they eventually crash through the giant however that separates a call center from another company's which is actually all in the same giant room at some point a knife tumbles out of one of their purses no one actually pulled it or tried to use it but it did fall out management has everyone end their calls and close the floor out cops are called and both girls are escorted out never to be seen there again because donuts yeah that was a that was an inspirational story dude inspiration dude Inspiration. If you guys did enjoy this kind of a different episode, make sure to leave a like. Some of these stories were pretty actually cool, dude. I say I'm gonna do a lot more Reddit episodes. If this gets three plus likes, dude, three plus likes, I'll upload another video. This is all of these. Oh, that's a long one. Jesus. I'll see you guys next time. Wait, I need this nine minutes for extra ad revenue. So, just wait, 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 wait. Wait.